Last night's Sabres-Pens game was a hard-fought battle with plenty of back-and-forth opportunities on both sides. These kinds of games often come down to grit, skill, and ultimately who wants it the most, and that's exactly what Crosby shows us here. The Sabres make a seemingly easy clearing attempt, nothing special, but not so fast. Crosby, stacking the pads as if he's playing goal, goes feet first into the boards to trap the puck on a beautiful effort here. Then, from his knees, makes a backhanded cross-ice pass to keep the play alive in the Sabres' end, and surprise, surprise, it leads to a goal, which we'll get to a little bit later, but I just wanted to start this one off highlighting Crosby's effort here. You just have got to love it. At 35 years old, the guy is still battling as hard as ever out there and continues to add to his illustrious career of highlights with this one. Awesome stuff. All right, so let's get into it. With a combination of some good goaltending and a fair share of posts, this was a bit of a grind early on, as goals were hard to come by. This meant that late into the second, we were still scoreless. On the power play, though, the Pens would cycle the puck fairly well, ending on Malkin's stick. Here, he's looking for the pass to the middle ice for Crosby, but instead it gets batted down nicely by Matias Samuelson. But only problem is the puck goes directly to Gensel, who would finally break the ice in this one, scoring his 13th of the year. After almost two full periods of scoreless play, this goal would seemingly break open the floodgates as things began to heat up from here. Just a little over two minutes later, Dalin picks up the puck deep in his own end, and in the blink of an eye, he gets off a hard breakout pass to the tape of Middlestat. He drops it for Joss, who centers it for Olofsson, and just like that, we're tied at one apiece. But look at this pass. Middlestat is all the way back on the Penguins' blue line by the time he gets this from Darlene. Really nice job here. It wouldn't take much more than a minute, and on another nice entry by the Sabres, Thompson feeds a wide-open Skinner in front of the net, who has seemingly all the time in the world and just outweights Jerry to put home his 13th of the year. So heading into the third and up by a goal, this gets us back to what was again a pretty innocent looking clearing attempt by the Sabres. But again, the beautiful effort by Crosby keeps this one in on the boards. His cross ice pass to Heinen leads to an attempted pass to Raquel, but instead the puck gets deflected awkwardly off the glass and in a fight for it, somehow it ends up right back on Heinen's stick. His shot would leave a juicy rebound for Raquel and we're all squared up at two. With three and a half minutes to go in the third, the Penguins play the puck up the middle nicely, getting into the Sabres zone again. McKinn drops it for Kapanen, who gives it right back for a one-timer, and the Penguins would regain the lead 3-2. Anderson looks like he gets over to his left just a bit too far, leaving just enough room on the far side for the puck to squeeze by, off the post, and in. Nearing the end of the period on a late power play and a chance to push this one to overtime, that's exactly what the Sabres would do. I really like this angle here though. We can see that the Sabres pull Anderson, so Ocposo coming off the bench makes a beeline for the net, driving right down the middle towards the action. Quinn I think sees him a bit late but just in time and feeds the captain for a real nice one to tie things up once again. Now, this is where things got a little dicey. Very late in the third, tied up, Anderson got a little upset from a late tap by Gensel here. Nothing too crazy in my opinion, but protecting his netminder, Skinner then goes after Gensel and the two got into a slashing battle. Now, not the end of the world, you see this all the time, right? Well, Skinner takes it way too far here, giving Gensel a 1-2 of cross checks, the second of the two right to the face. Just really uncalled for. The two players would get two offsetting minors for slashing, but Skinner would also get a five minute major. Not a great place, heading into overtime. In overtime, the Pens were obviously in no rush on an extended power play, so they took their time trying to set something up. A little over a minute and a half into overtime, Malkin would fake a shot, giving it to Raquel, whose shot passed to Carter then ends up in the blue paint and Carter is able to seal the game. This was a nice play by Carter, kicking it up with his back foot to finish it off and ultimately solidified the dub for the Penguins. Overall, a fun game to watch, even if it took almost two full periods to really get the scoring going. Really though, Skinner's gotta be kicking himself for putting his team in the situation he did late in this game. Haven't heard anything as of now, but I'd be shocked if he's not setting tonight's game out with a suspension.